We should be very worried because what we need to understand about AI, artificial intelligence, it is the first tool that can make decisions by itself. All previous inventions in human history always empowered us. They always gave us more power because the decisions were always made by humans. If you invent a knife, the knife cannot decide whether to use it to cut salad or to murder somebody or to save their life in surgery. If you invent an atom bomb, similarly, the atom bomb cannot decide who to attack and when and where. AI is the first technology that can actually make decisions by itself. It can make decisions about its own usage and development. Nukes cannot make better nukes, but AI can make better an eye. And also, AI can make and does make decisions about us. Increasingly, when you apply to a bank to get a loan, you apply to, a, to get a job, it's an AI making crucial decisions about your life. And we haven't seen anything yet. AI is just making its first tiny baby step. It's something like 10 years old. You know, to, to really think about it, think about it as like, this is the beginning of organic life four billion years ago. This is the first amoeba crawling out of the organic soup. Can you imagine how Tyrannosaurus Rex would look like? In the hands of the wrong people, AI could be the end of democracy. AI could also be the basis for the worst totalitarian regimes in human history. Because, you know, dictators always dreamt about following everybody and monitoring everybody all the time, mm. but they could never do it. Because, you know, even the Soviet Union, you have 200 million Soviet citizens, Stalin didn't have 200 million KGB officers to follow everybody around all the time and then to analyze all, you need millions of analysts to analyze all the data you, you collect. Now it is becoming possible. First of all, it can also, of course, be used for good. And right. so far, we are still in control, but we don't know for how many years. And therefore, we need to, first of all, understand the capabilities of AI and slow down its deployment to make sure that we use it wisely and safely. You know, the same way that a drug company cannot just release a new medicine to the public without going through a very rigorous safety checks, it should be the same with AI. What you, we know about technology, that you know, we can use the same technology to build completely different societies. In the 20th century, some people used trains and radio and electricity to build totalitarian regimes like the Soviet Union, and other people used exactly the same technology to build liberal democracies. Mm. It's the same with AI and with the technologies of the 21st century. We still have a choice about how to employ them. I think that AI is nowhere near its full potential, but also human beings are nowhere near our full potential. We don't really understand the full potential of our brains, of our minds. If for every dollar and every minute that we invest in developing AI, we'll invest another dollar and minute in developing our own mind and our own consciousness, I think we'll be okay.